Hey, what is going on, guys? It's the Game of Pro Wars on TGP, and in today's video, we're we'll talking about how you can unlock the Intervention, the ACR, and pretty much classic weapons from other Call of Duties in Infinite Warfare. Now, this was announced, I would say, yesterday or two days ago, and I'm just going to inform you guys because some of you guys may be confused. And how are you unlocking the classic weapons? It's this new category in the new Call of Duty that has never been introduced to us before, and I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how you unlock it. So, as you know, Throughout your prestiges, you're unlocked prestige tokens, and you can use them on whatever you want, ranging from perks, from specialists, now they're called like, I, I forgot what they're fucking called in uh, Infinite Warfare. You can also use them on perks, and that's pretty much it. And then, also, what you can do on top of that now, is you can pick and choose every single prestige, you can choose what classic weapons you want. Now this can be the M16, the Intervention is for sure going to be a classic weapon, also in the beta, in I would say in a week from today, you are going to be able to see what kind of classic weapons are in this category. And I'm assuming since there are confirmed 10 prestiges in Infinite Warfare, you are able to unlock 10 different classic weapons. And you can choose, you can choose like the ninth one, the third one, you don't have to go in order whatsoever. Not like, you know, prestiging in Advanced Warfare where it just unlocked one by one by one. And if you wanted to get like, for example, the ASM Speakeasy or something, you have to go to like the 26th prestige. So apart from that, you need to use that token to unlock the Intervention, the ACR, the M16, the UMP45, whatever guns they bring back from other Call of Duties. Now, this isn't confirmed about what Call of Duties they, br they brought guns from. They can be the uh, MW2 series, it can be the MW3, it can be um, Black Ops 1, it can be pretty much anything. So, yeah guys, that's pretty much how you do it. You can, once you prestige, and they, I think they said there was 50 levels in Infinite Warfare. I'm not quite sure though, I believe it's probably going to be either 50 or 55. I think it's probably going to match what Ghosts was, but I didn't play Ghosts that much, so I don't even know what the highest rank before you can prestige is, because I think I'm like level fucking 7 on that game. But, it should be like somewhere in between 50 or 55, no higher than that. They're not going to go like MW3 and shoot it up to 70, but... And that is pretty much how you unlock the intervention, which is 100% in the game already. But I'm going to notify you guys exactly what all what are all the quest, classic. Oh my god, I can't fucking talk. I feel like a baby now. <laughs> but all the classic weapons in Infinite Warfare, ranging from the sniper rifles, the assault rifles, the submachine guns, pretty much everything there. And if there are more than 10, I will be sure again to notify you guys in that same video, which is going to be coming the day the Infinite Warfare beta will release. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a quick video informing you guys how you can get the classic weapons, including the Intervention and including the ACR and the M16 in Infinite Warfare whenever it comes out. Um, oh, and I also forgot to mention that the beta, you are not allowed to unlock these classic weapons. Maybe they're going to change that. I don't know why, but with PS4, you get a bit longer time. I believe it's like, Oh, like six days on PS4 and three on Xbox One. So, I mean, I don't know how fair that's going to be and how people are going to react to that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you're new. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.